So in this video, I'm going to talk about using the paintbrush and using the paint bucket tool. Now, first thing is that we never want to use the paintbrush or the paint bucket on the original layer that has the pixels for the image. Um, if we do that, right now there's pixels making up this picture. And if I paint it on top of it, it would be replacing all of those pixels with these painted teal pixels. So if I save this and closed it and came back in, I wouldn't be able to get rid of it. So we always want to make new layers and do things on separate layers. The way that we make new layers is either the plus in the bottom right uh, corner of the layer palette, or you can go up to uh, layer new layer in the um, menu bar. So now we have two empty layers actually. So the paintbrush tool is over here on the left hand side in kind of the middle of the toolbox. So I have options up here because whenever we click on a different tool, we have the option bar and it gives you options. So I have different sizes. So here's at 800 pixels. Here's at 66 pixels make it large again. And now I will show you what it looks like at 0% hardness. Oop, that is huge. Sorry about that. So you can see this has a fuzzy edge to it. So when it's at 100, it has a nice hard edge. When it's at zero, it has a very soft edge. And you can pick anywhere in between. Now, just again, the benefits of this being on a separate layer is if I want to, uh, I can just get rid of it, you know, throw it in the trash or make it invisible, or I could move this around or change the size of it. Oops, I could change the size of it or rotate it. So just remember another benefit of having things on separate layers is not just that you don't destroy the pixels of the original picture, but you can also do more things with um, uh, things that you've done on a separate layer. All right, to change the color of the paintbrush is if we go down here at the bottom of the toolbar, we have our foreground color and our background color. So we want to click on the foreground color, the one in the upper left, and we have this great little color picker and we can choose any kind of color we want. And so now when we use our paintbrush tool, uh, it will paint in that color. All right, so now I wanna talk about the uh, paint bucket. When you first open up Photoshop, it may look like this and you say, hey, where's the paint bucket? We'll just find this little value scale here. It's a gradient tool. And if you click and hold on it, you get the paint bucket tool. Now, if we just do a paint bucket on an empty layer, it will just fill the whole layer. So. You know, our original picture is still there, but this whole layer is filled up. So what we want to do instead is make a selection. Anytime you have a selection, if I use my uh, selection tool, my polygonal selection tool, then I can use my paint bucket tool and just fill in that selection. It doesn't matter which tool you use. I could use the circle and then fill that in. Just switch between the two. I could use the, you know, any of the lasso tools, any of these tools, whatever you want, um, and you can fill it in. Again, to change the color, you just click on the foreground and you can change whatever color you want it to be. So again, go over here, fill that in. Now, just to show you what happens if you don't use the uh, paint bucket on an empty layer, if you do it on the original layer, it again replaces those pixels. So let me just show you what happens. If I click on this dark shadow in the water here, it fills in all of the areas. Whoops, I have that area at the top selected. It fills in all of the areas that are touching that are that color. So. I mean, I don't know, I guess that could be a cool effect, but it has destroyed the pixels underneath. I can't get them back if I save this and close it. Um, so I do not want to do that. 
uh, so let me do that. So um, again, always make a new layer when you use the paintbrush or paint bucket tool. Uh, do not destroy your original layer and you can change the colors um, over here in the foreground picker and you can um, change your options up here on the option bar or you can use the bracket keys to make your paintbrush bigger and smaller. If you have any questions, please let me know.